What is up, everybody? Brandon Gadola here with three of my favorite bets at FanDuel Sportsbook for the AT&T Byron Nelson, the final tune-up before next week's PGA Championship. Starting off, I like Justin Thomas to win outright. I'm starting my betting card with JT because given Scotty Scheffler's dominance, we're starting to see Thomas's win odds drift lengthen a bit, uh, farther than they should. Thomas, for me, is the most likely winner according to my win simulation model this week. And TPC Craig Ranch rewards golfers who can make birdies. That's what we saw last year in the only event, but that's very much in Thomas's wheelhouse. Uh, last year, according to the data, Data Golf counted TPC Craig Ranch as a very easy putting course. It's great news for JT, whose weakness tends to be the putter. He should also benefit then from, from you know more from this setup than other golfers give him a bigger boost. And so I think with the luster kind of wearing off on JT, the light shining more on Scheffler, I will gladly take the value on Thomas for a win this week. Hideki Matsuyama to top 10 is another bet that I like. I think Hideki's being a little bit forgotten, but this again is a course that should set up really well for him to gain strokes on the field, tee to green, and then make the makeable putts. We last saw Hideki at the Masters, so it's been a while, but there he gained strokes in all three tee to green facets, lost with the putter, pretty typical for Hideki, but He's got that tee to green upside that we need for this week. He's gained at least four and a half strokes tee to green in 53% of his PGA Tour events over the past year, trailing only JT at 63%, and Hideki's got a gap over everybody else in the field. So I'm going to make sure that I have some action on Hideki with some lengthening odds this week. Aaron Wise to win Group D is another bet that I'm in on. Group D this week comprises Aaron Wise, Siwoo Kim, Jason Kokrak, and Cameron Champ. Basically all viable ball strikers with maybe not the best putting. Kokrak's putting is a lot better than the other three in this group, but still kind of the same archetype across the board. The name that separates though is Wise, who's on a bit of a heater, but it's a, a sustainable heater, which is what you want to see. Uh, over the past year, when adjusting for recency and field strength, Wise easily leads this group in total strokes gained average, tee to green play and approach play. You want to see that. He's got good putting splits from within 15 feet and is due for some positive putting regression. He should be in the mix to gain more greens than anyone else in this group. That should be the recipe for going low at TPC Craig Ranch this weekend. My simulation model has his odds in this group at plus 185, making him the favorite. That'll do it for my favorite bets for this week's AT&T Byron Nelson. Let's hit a winner.